And now, chapter four in the tale of Brain Warp the Baby Eater, Super Idiot. <laughs> Tonight's episode, Five and a Half Brains Too Many. And where is the rude one? When we last saw Brain Warp the Baby Eater, he had accidentally fallen into one of his own death traps, the Life Fucker! Which can cut a man in two. With certain doom at his doorstep, Brain Warp bravely passed out and is now caught somewhere in the dreamy netherworld between sleep and death. Now prepare yourself, dear listener, for you are visiting a place few thought existed the inside of Brain Warp's brain! Wow! Nothing is real! Huh? I. Huh? Brain Warp. Brain Warp. It's me, Glasses Man, your old roommate. Glasses Man? But you're dead! You committed suicide like a coward! Brain Warp, you did this to me. You did this to me. You hung yourself! How is that my fault? Go haunt the rope! Brain Warp, you're a terrible supervillain. You're not modern. You don't wear black. You dress like some lame Silver Age criminal, more like the Rust Age. You make Captain Boomerang look like Galactus. You make Frank Miller's spirit movie look like Will Eisner's spirit comic. Hey, I came here for the dreams, not the reams. I could never sleep up all hours of the night listening to those damn fiddle-plucking records. And the stench, Jesus, I thought shit smelled. Face it, you're the worst supervillain who ever lived. Why don't you fucking give it up? Fucking give it up. Fucking give it up. Jesus, you had to echo that part? We cut through the smelly fog and find ourselves in smelly reality. The smelly reality of Brain Warp Studio Apartment Hideout. A quick update. Officer One, who was formerly the superhero, the green uniform, is unconscious in the bathroom, a prisoner of Brain Warp. Brain Warp himself is unconscious on the floor of his living room, and standing over him are the super villainous lipstick and henchman LaFoot. And curiously, also standing over Brain Warp, an elderly gentleman whom we have yet to meet. Sexy. LaFoot, what's wrong with Brain Warp? He's just lying there like a dead tire. Is he all right? Uh, he should be, Lipstick. I think the boss fainted right before I unplugged his death trap. He looks dead. Maybe we should call a doctor. Eh, don't bother. He's dead. Uh, <sighs> Look, he's getting up. Yeah, he's dead all right. Hey, who is this old man? Yeah, who are you? Uh, Oh, me? I'm from across the hall. I, I heard somebody die, and I thought I'd better check it out. Uh, I'll I'll just take off now. Well, bye-bye. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> Weird. You say I passed out, huh? Must have been my courage. Yeah, whenever I get courageous, I faint immediately.